Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. So um, in honor of Women's Month, today we decided to do a Women's Day special. Yes. Oh, oh, white or yes. angelic girls. Yes. Yes. And somebody needs to take us out for lunch because we gave you also a holiday. And it's yeah. Women's Day. You know, <laughs> it's Women's Day. Yeah. So like yeah. anyone want to hear this out? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll leave our numbers at the bottom. Oh, but we'll be wow. back to our regular schedule, guys. Yeah. Another video is coming up on Sunday, as always. Well, wow. Okay, guys, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, so um, where I'm from, we don't have Women's Day, right? Which is where? Fair. Here in Zoom. <laughs> 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 we don't celebrate Women's Day, so yeah. I have to do a bit of research on why I'm not going to school today and why during <laughs> Women's Month has become like a thing. Yeah. So what I realized is quite ironic and interesting is that Women's Day, well, National Women's Day, International Women's Day is in March, right? And it's recognized and celebrated by a lot of other countries. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure South Africa recognizes it as well. It but does. um National Women's Day is not even centered around women. It's centered around black people. It's a racial thing. So um, according to a National Registration Act back in 19... Woo! You sound so educated. Yes. Um, <laughs> there was a law that was passed, which is called a pass law, basically. So black people needed to get like internal passports to move around with, like internal IDs, um, to help with like segregation and um, population control and things like that during the apartheid era. And I found it really interesting because then I thought, but it's called Women's Day, but then it turns out that it's women who then marched to the union buildings in Pretoria against this the passing of this law mm -hmm. so um the very same men i feel like who are always like oppressing us we're always ready to help, to help them yeah so women. yeah i just brought it up with my friends i was like let's talk about women hey and how yeah. we're always like willing to like sacrifice ourselves always willing to go to the ends just you know to keep society together together yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. very ironic that women had to be the ones to say you know what we're gonna sacrifice ourselves for the community like we're gonna go to we're gonna march to union building and like tell the government we've had it with this drum bus. Mm -hmm. But in today's society, it's just like men are like trashing us. They're like beating us. Our very own minister, guys. I'm sure you know the story of um, Minister Manana who beat up a girl in the club and he's like, you can't do anything to me. Well, app um, apparently that's what he said. You know, so it's just so sad okay. that like women are willing to keep communities together. Regardless of how men treat them at the end of the day, yeah. you know. So. so, do you guys think that it's right for us to say happy Women's Day? Do you think there's like a happy factor? Yeah, yeah. also speaking about um, women's holidays, um, when it comes even with Mother's Day as opposed to Father's Day, when people talk about Father's Day, so let's oh, how great is my dad because he does A, B, and C, like he's so awesome, he's so this, so that, it's like his present in my life etc etc but on mother's day people are like oh my mom is so amazing because she struggled through this and this and the next thing it's never it's never a positive light yeah when it's never easy it's never so, easy yeah. like there's I, always I get, a struggle I get, I get why we say happy woman's day though because irregardless of like all the struggles we're going through we are saying after all at the end of the day a woman is strong yeah because of all that she goes through and all that she handles yeah yeah, yeah and it's true. also a thing also i feel like the whole thing that it's not positive when you say what did you say <laughs> like how <laughs> oh yeah you said it's not um seen as a positive thing when you basically shine light upon a woman's struggle and stuff like that no I mean, not like, that it's no, not, not that a positive not thing positive. How, but there's what? always negative connotations how? or rather a oh, struggle, so struggle. Yeah. But for struggle. me that is what i see as positive though. but because i, I think... feel like i need to celebrate the struggles a woman has gone through for me mm. to sort of appreciate her standing but you what know what i mean but guys but yeah, our fathers are so great but our mothers are going through and so much and they're just what no, 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 how do we have a society of men where they like we praise them and they're so great? Just for but being our fun. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate like, our no for being fun. Yeah, why is struggle? Always, why is struggle always is attached to women? Why yeah. can't women be great because they're great? Why do Just we need to struggle we... to be recognized? Yeah, like our fathers are always what praised. Do for... Why do we struggle to be recognized? Okay, like so we how, how I'm understanding them. So, for example, um, we celebrate Father's Day 
in terms of like how present our fathers oh, are in our right. lives. Yeah. But they somehow cannot be this present, equally present in their wives, yeah, yeah. in their baby mama's lives. So when it comes to Mother's Day, it's always my my single mother, my struggling single mm. mother, I appreciate she's been there for me. Yeah. It's not basic things like, oh, I go shopping with my mom, yeah. happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, my mom spoils me. Oh, I'm a mommy's girl. Do you understand? We're all like daddy's girls because daddy is always yeah. spoiling us. But daddy never is is not as present in Taniga's life as he is in Taniga's mother's, mother's life. life. That was yeah. an example, by the way. My father's <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, like when you chamber guys also, but this day is is meant to to some extent highlight the issue so that people can mm. try and stop abusing women. It's a day mm. to to say, men, stop abusing your wives. Men, stop being absent fathers. Be there for your kids. Yeah. You know, I think it's just it's just a day to highlight those issues so that we can move away from them. Even and though it's obviously yeah, our men need yeah, a make, lot of rehabilitation, and I think we. Like, instead of being those Twitter activists that we are, where we say everything on Twitter but never do anything about it, yeah. we need to start rehabilitating our men. Like, they yeah. need to start growing and fixing society. Like And on the rehabilitation, I also feel like women in society also need rehabilitation because I think what I've noticed, especially with this generation, because we're very conscious of the oppression and everything, we, we're almost like we're glued into that mindset. Yeah. So, especially as black women, we're, I think, in terms, we're oppressed in many different forms, but I think the worst kind of oppression is the oppression in our minds. That yeah. I feel like we need rehabilitation yeah. from that as well so, so we can yeah. learn That's to so survive. True. And because, growing up knowing that mm. it's okay if your husband doesn't treat you right sometimes. You just need to know how to deal with it. Get up, be independent. No, be independent. Like, that's how most like African that. families oh, are. Yeah. Independent. Oh. We need to be able to survive because this yeah. is the system we're in. Oh. And actually, on Connie's point, um, I've been like on social media. I was watching. I was reading this tweet where um, one of the ladies was expressing her anger over the fact that people keep saying during Women's Month, during Women's mm. Month, let's what what what. During mm. Women's Month, yeah. I say let's do do do. During and it's it's almost like okay, it's okay to mistreat women in any, any other, other month, month just not August. Yeah. Yeah. To understand why should no, we? I don't. I don't think that's the case. I just think that. Um, uh, women are mistreated all throughout the year, but I mean, really, are you really now going to do it now? No, but it can't be like man? that. So now that it's women's month, you must be super conscious. Then throughout the year, it's just like, whatever. I think it's then just like a, you really again. have the audacity during no, women's month. Right. Really. It no. must be every day. Every, every day, day you can't have the audacity. Yeah. Like, I hear you guys. But yeah, for me personally, I feel like Women's Day highlights the bravery that women have, not only in the workplace, but in mm. their homes as well. Mm. Yeah. And the saying, you strike a woman, you strike a rock, is so true, guys. Like, look at your own mothers or the women that surround you in your own lives and just how strong and courageous they are. Literally, they will stand in the middle or in the face of risk just to protect yeah. you and to make sure that you are yeah. okay. They take care of everybody else but themselves. So I think, yeah, that for me, that's what it represents. Yes. And also, guys, I think it, it also comes down to cultivating a spirit of empowerment amongst women during yeah. this month. Yeah. I think as much as we'd like to say, let's empower women throughout the year. Yes, you'll do that in your individual capacity. But in this month, it's a month where we can come together and all just be like, hey, girl, you're doing well for yourself. Like, good on you. Patch yourself. You know, Patch and yourself. With, you know what I mean? Patch and yourself. with empowerment, guys, you don't... It starts small. Like, it I don't does. have to be an influential person to make a difference. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. I remember we went to this... Um, remember the caucus, the black club? The black club thing. Yeah. And this one um, lady was explaining how... Okay, so, for example, when she, when she generally speaks, she speaks like, you know, she's got a deep voice. She's very affirm, um, assertive and everything. Then when she's speaking to her father, for example, with the phone, she's very, like... Hi, Daddy. How do I express it? Hi, Daddy. It's very timid. Yeah. timid. It's very, you know what I mean? And those are the kind of things that disempower us and like mm. feed into the culture yeah. of being um, less superior to them. So, for example, if she could have that kind of confidence to just speak to her, not be disrespectful to her father, just yeah. maybe able to speak with assertion, speak yeah. with, with, with presence, you know what I mean? Yeah. When yeah. she walks... On campus, she walks with a strut. She walks with swagger. But like when she walks at home, she's very like 
clothes yeah. and those are the little things that make a difference those things empower the women around you the moment That's they see true. that Tanya can speak confidently about a b and c it gives them as well like yeah. confidence to yeah. to speak like that yeah guys for me i just appreciate my friends like it's just so <laughs> nice to see how they'll have your back no matter what guys like yeah. you have a guy harassing you in the bus and tando will stand up for yeah. you <laughs> guys, so, like, it's not even the best in other places. Like, well. Anyway, guys, yeah. I just always yeah. know that one place that I can go to is my friends, and yeah. like they like happy and Wednesday, then, guys. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I think another thing as well is just how the spirit of, especially amongst Black women, how sometimes we just don't treat each other right, yeah. and we don't support each other. I think we need to really stop doing that, guys. Yeah. We need to come together. And it's the only way we're going to grow as women and support yeah. each other and just stop being mean to yeah. each other. You know Can what I mean? Not if we, 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 we're not a unit our best, amongst ourselves, that is yeah. why people will walk all over us. Yeah. Because we're not a unit and we're not coming together as a united front. Guys, we're yeah. not in competition. There's space for every woman to yeah. live. And we can yeah. all succeed, guys. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so ladies, let's walk our talk. Mm-hmm. Yes. And let's be the women that we want to see our children become and the women that we want to see as our future leaders in this country. So, black love, guys. That's it for our women. So, from the socials, happy happy women's day. Bye, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. See you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Yeah.